Plaintiff Shauna Washington says the used car she bought broke down on the highway and burst into flames. She blames the defendant and is suing for $5,000. Defendant Yelena Ongaron claims she made a fair and honest sale and she owes nothing. All rise. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Najee. It's case number 165 on the docket. Shauna, you are suing Elena. Oh, this has to do with a car. I just want to say it's an honor to be here, and I'm a big fan of the Ringmaster. I watched Thank it a you. lot when I was younger. <laughs> um, my name is Shauna, and I'm a single mom of two boys. Yes. Um, I currently just launched my own cosmetic line last year, and I'm currently a hair braider at an all-men's bar barber shop. Oh. Um, I... Just growing up, I just always got the short end of the stick. Someone's always trying to scam me. Someone's always trying to get more than what they can out of me. And I just had to do something about it. It wasn't going to happen no longer. I decided to boss up my life. And I'm like, okay, I saved up enough money. I'm going to purchase me a vehicle that I want. I was currently in a 2003 Mazda Tribute. And I'm like, yeah, I need something better and bigger for me and my boys. Um, i seen a lot of Dodge Journeys online. Um, the defendants caught my attention because it had low mileage. So you saw this on what, Facebook? On Facebook Market. My uncle asked me to post his uh, car on Market. So it's your uncle's car? Yes, it's my uncle's car. Oh, okay. So he basically is the one selling it. Yes. So, um, because he doesn't really speak a good English. Yes. And. I just, sure, not a problem. So I reached out to the defendant. As you can sure. see, I oh, bossed that sure. car up. Oh, you is. see the tents? I did all that. It was not like that when I got it. Um, anywho, I reached out to her about coming to see the vehicle and test driving it. I went the next day to go look at it and test drive it. She did. And what was your test drive? I mean, it was just, you know, a little round <laughs> the block or up the street, you know, nothing yeah. too major. I just want to see if it reverse it drive. She loved it and said, I'm going to go home tonight with this car. I'm like, OK. Uh, she, she, she told me it is in good condition. She said, I she did told, not. Yes, you did. I did. OK. I did not. OK. Why would um, I say something's in good condition that I never, ever I had my asked my, for? can I please talk? No. She did assure me that the vehicle was in good condition. It was just sitting in the driveway and did not want it in the driveway. It was taking up room, and they just wanted it gone. Um, so after that, you know, I tried to talk it down. She did want 6800 for it. Not for 68, but for 6500 So I was able to talk her down to 6300 In front of her, I called my uncle. Can you please uh, do it lower? Because she told me she's a single mom, whatever. And he's like, just do 6300 yeah. Um, so I gave her 5000 in cash up front, and the next day I came and brought her the remaining 1300 She's like, I have only 5000 on me tonight. Can I please bring the other uh, 1300 tomorrow? So sure, not a problem. You bring that money tomorrow, and then you get the second key and the title. So she excited. She just went home, and that was the last time I saw her. At so the, the next day she came with the 1300 Yeah, but I wasn't there. Oh, okay. She called me, hey, I'm here with the money. I called my uncle, and I think it was my husband there. I'm not sure. But you went you there. Someone remember. else yeah, came Yeah, so I out. went there. I yeah. wasn't there. Mm -hmm. um, when I had the vehicle in my possession, I took it to get an oil change. It had a bent rim on there, so I got the rim fixed on there. Um, I just bossed it up, as you've seen in a, in a picture. On April 27th, I'm driving, I'm cruising with my kids. We're just driving down the highway, singing, hair blowing the worst. What, what were you singing? Oh, you want to know? <laughs> 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 I was just listening to, you know, a little rap, a little R&B, like my old schools. Is it possible that your singing caused the car to break down? Oh, no, never. <laughs> never. Okay. I have a beautiful voice. <laughs> OK, go ahead. So driving in Bloomington on the expressway, I'm driving doing about 65. And I noticed that my vehicle starts losing acceleration. I start going from 60 to 55 and, then just, and so on to the point where it was so many cars just coming, 85, 90, and I had to hurry up and go to the exit, the nearest exit ramp. And in the process of being in that exit ramp, the vehicle completely shuts off. It's overheating, I can't do nothing. I called roadside, they came out, they tried to jumpstart the vehicle, it started a flame at the bottom of the vehicle. So it, they was able to put it out. In the process of them trying to figure out what's wrong with the vehicle, I get a ticket from the police officer because I was parked in a danger zone. I tried to explain to him that 
that was not my fault. My vehicle was down, but that's something I'll handle back at home. After that, I did have to pay $175 in towing fees to tow it from that stoplight that I was on across the street to the gas station and then pay another $101 to get it towed completely home. The next day I did reach out to the defendant and I, you know, I let her know about what was going with the vehicle, going on with the vehicle, and I submitted a video to her as well that I brought today in court. Okay, let's look at the video. Okay, so I have my keys in here. Both sets. The vehicle locked up on me. Nothing is working. As you can see, the screen is not on. When I hit the brake, it it's 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 stuck. It's it's locked up. Now all of a sudden the screen comes on. When I hit this, key is not detected. My whole vehicle is locked up. Did you take the car to a mechanic? Yes, I did, and I got an estimate for any $12,000 worth of electrical work. When I posted, I said on the description, it's a salvage title. Yes, you did say but that. But I guess she was too excited. She I didn't is. see the post. The ad said that it was salvaged. Yes. You got the ad here, Jeff. Okay. Salvage title. It's salvaged, and that means at some point it was totaled and put together again and sold. She wasn't being deceptive. The very ad says it's a salvaged car. If you want to buy a car that at some point was totaled, the advice would be have a mechanic look at it before you buy it to make sure it was put together properly. Then the post also, it says that I'm selling this car for my uncle. Yeah. And he knew that. That's okay. You were acting as the agent for your uncle. Yes. I, I exactly. get that. Who has the car now? You still have the car. Yep, it's sitting there waiting on her to pick it up. I felt really sorry for her. To be honest, you I did. felt sure. sorry. Okay, when let her talk. You can not interrupt. As you can see, I texted her. I, I did a conversation. If yes. I knew there was something wrong with the car, do you think I would give her my home address? And after, after she got the car, if I knew, I just blocked her right away and didn't ask for her uh, messages on Facebook. Yeah. That, that wasn't like, I had no idea what's wrong with that car. Okay. But she drove it for two months. I got my car and my and dealer to dealer um, a month ago. They gave me seven days to return it and one month to exchange it. But nobody does that to, you just got the car and after two months you just come, hey, I want my money back. I, I cannot do that. Now, here's the technicality of the law. You bought this car, which they call, quote, as is. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantee. Often when you go to a car dealership, they'll have a guarantee. It's a one-year guarantee, whatever it is. There's no guarantee on this. And you have the right, when you buy a car, to first have a mechanic look at it, which in hindsight, I know from now on, if you ever buy another car, you will have it really checked out. And because of that, case dismissed. I really feel bad for her because I am a, a mom to of three kids. And I feel better about her, to be honest, but there's nothing I can help with. I feel like I've been taken advantage of. And I mean, if it was me personally, if I'm selling something, I want to let someone know up front, like, hey, this is a salvage title, or this is going on with the vehicle, just so I know that you know. So once you buy it, you know for sure already what's going on with it in the side of my hands. But that was not done, and my money is completely gone.